So yeah, my Uber account was hacked. This is a pretty crazy story. This happened last year in the end of August, beginning of September. So to timestamp it, end of August, beginning of September in 2022. And I wanted to wait a little bit of time to make this video just in case they were still trying to figure everything out. Luckily, everything turned out okay, luckily. But this is very weird and I still don't know exactly how they did this. I mean, obviously hackers are incredibly smart as we all know, but this is a very odd story. So one day I wake up and I see that my email has been changed to some weird email called like Mark F2107, some, some like weird amount of digits at Gmail. And I'm like, huh, that's weird. I never changed my email on Uber. That's kind of odd. So I went to sign in and I was basically locked out. I said, sorry, this is not your email. This is not your password. I went to then reset my password could not reset my password because they also went in, not only changed my email, but once I got into my account, also changed the phone number to basically like a fake phone number. You can quickly download a texting app or whatever and just get like a fake phone number. So then they did that. So I had no way to access my Uber account if I wanted to order an Uber or order Uber Eats. And that's important to mention for this story because there's a weird curveball that just made things even way more interesting. So anyway, so I could not access my account, trying to get in through my email, through my phone number, nothing's working to get into my account. And I'm like, great. Next thing I know, and you can probably imagine, I get a weird email, which I don't know how I got the email, even though they changed the email saying, hey, we just received your Uber Eats order. So they charged Uber Eats to my account. And the weird thing is, and I don't know why, and I'm not making this up, I was thinking like, okay, you're a hacker. You probably want a TV. You probably want whatever. They ordered $40 of Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm not making this up because I found out the orders later. I could review them and Jack in the Box. And I'm like, wait a minute. So you hack someone's Uber account and you got $50 worth of stuff? Kind of weird, right? Now, luckily I did get a refund for all this. I want to stress, but just a very strange thing I want to mention. But at this point, I'm like, I don't know what to do. The weird thing was, and I don't think the hacker expected this because it kind of was then a back and forth thing. I could still sign in on my Uber driver account. I don't know why. It was interesting how I was locked out of my Uber account and of course Uber Eats and everything. But when it came to my driver account, I could still access it. So I'd go into my driver account, somehow I could still get in and I'd rechange my email. And I'm like, okay, they're done. I'm gonna change my email, change my phone number back, reset everything back, um, I'm good to go. So then I wake up two days later, boom, they change everything again. I do this process. And it's almost kind of like a ping pong match where they change it and then I change it back. They change it, I change it back. Of course, the second I got into my account, I removed all payment information so they could not order anything through um, any of my payment services like credit cards and basically all the payment services attached to my account. So at that point, I'm like, okay, I got the refund for what they ordered, Bed Bath & Beyond and fast food. Still don't know why. Um, I got the refund and now they can't order anything on my account. However, they still kept trying to hack into it. And it was this back and forth thing. So then as you can imagine, I called Uber and this was a nightmare. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Uber, the worst customer service when it came to this. I contact Uber and I'd say, hey, just letting you know, my account got hacked. They changed my email and they changed my number. And I just wanna let you know that that's not me. I just wanna change it back to this. And they're like, okay, we'll send you an email confirmation to you know try to get your account back. But the weird thing was they were sending all the email confirmations and this is why Uber is so annoying. Sorry, Uber, but the worst customer service because they were sending the emails to the hacker's email because they changed the email on the account. And at a certain point, the hacker found out that I was accessing it through my Uber driver's account. So then again, I don't know how they did this. They locked me out of both, completely locked me out of both. So now I'm completely like in the dark, so to speak. And I'm like, okay, on one end, they don't have my payment information, so they can't charge any more orders or anything to my credit card. So I'm not losing any money, you know, or anything, but I still can't access any of my accounts, any of my information. I can't access anything. And then I don't know how they did this. They then put their payment information on my account, which I don't know why. That's a weird move. And then ordered Uber One. Kind of strange. I don't know. I don't know what the hacker is thinking. Maybe they really want, because, and they also, too, by the way, once they put in their own payment information, which I'm like, just get your own Uber account. I don't know what you're doing. They put in their own Uber, uh, own payment information. 
and then started ordering more fast food. That's all they ordered besides Bed Bath & Beyond. The most, like I was looking through their orders and it's like Wendy's, Jack in the Box, uh, McDonald's, Taco Bell. And I'm just like, this is your goal of hacking into my account? Like not a crazy, t I don't know. I don't know, I digress though. So at this point I'm locked out of my account and the problem with Uber is it kept emailing the hacker who obviously was not gonna do anything because I'm locked out of my account. So then Uber, when I, and came on, I was on their customer service, like support line and everything for sometimes an hour. And I must've talked to them and I'm not joking. I must've talked to Uber at least 15 or 20 times. Because the first time they did that by accident, I'm like, oh shoot, I can see why they messed it up. The second time I said, hey, make sure you email my own personal email. Here's my email. They went to do that, they didn't do that. The third time, the fourth, and this kept happening over and over again. So then luckily I got to talk to one person at Uber on the phone who actually was like, okay, I now understand your situation. Like you can access your account but if we try to contact you, your contact information is actually hacker's information. And I'm like, yes. And they're like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put in a block for your email and your phone number. We're gonna change it back. We're gonna put in a block. That way it's impossible for them to change your email and your phone number. I'm like, perfect. Uber did that. Two days later, the hacker changed it back again. I'm like, great. So I had to call Uber again. So keep in mind, I'm calling them over and over and over again, speeding up this a lot. Cause I literally spent, hours on the phone with uber trying to deal with this it was the most frustrating situation i had to re-explain the entire situation to every uber customer support person it was an absolute nightmare and what i think happened because i was talking to uber about this i think what happened is they discovered some glitch when it came to the phone number not the email because it seemed like what they would initially do is change my phone number and then my email once I change everything back. Initially, they changed my email and then the phone number. But I noticed that every single time I went to kind of rehack into my account, the phone number would get changed first and then the email. So I said that to Uber. I'm like, oh, look, I think this is what's happening. They discovered some glitch, some thing where they're able to kind of still access my account via the phone number, whatever. Uber was like, thanks for information. Didn't do anything with it. So this goes on for a while. So then actually I finally had to go to the Uber Greenlight Hub. It's basically a place where you can go and talk to Uber in person. Luckily, they were all amazing. The, the, the Uber Greenlight Hub staff, the best, the absolute best. So I went there, I explained the situation in full again. And the lady's like, okay, I get where you're coming from. She goes, okay, I see what they tried to do. They're like, for some reason, the Uber support team did put blocks on your account, but not everything, which means that kind of like, half blocked your account, which means parts of the account they, they didn't block. So the hacker could go to the other parts of your account they did not block and hack into that. And then once they were in, they could then change this. And I'm just like, okay. So then luckily they put blocks on everything, aggressive hard blocks on every little aspect of my Uber account. And then finally this happened, like I said, this was resolved in like September-ish of 2022. It's been, what is it now? Is it May? Yeah, it's May of 2023. I have to like think what the, the date is. Oh, it's Cinco de Mayo, by the way. Happy Cinco de Mayo, by the way. So it's May 5th. So it's been about like eight months. No issue. Luckily, no issue. But yeah, very weird story, honestly. And when I was thinking, and this is kind of the, the tricky thing, is if I wasn't an Uber driver, I would be permanently, from, I mean, unless I had to like do something crazy, I'd be super locked out of my account where I could not access anything all the payment information is still there. And the only way I was able to get into my account to remove that payment information so they couldn't charge any more to my credit card and everything is by going through the Uber driver app. I don't think the hacker expected that. They could still somehow access my account in a weird roundabout way. So that's kind of luckily how I was able to remove the payment information. But I was thinking if I wasn't an Uber driver, if let's say I was just a normal person who didn't drive for Uber, I only took Ubers and ordered Uber Eats, I'd be probably permanently locked out of my account the Uber support team was horrible dealing with this. And the only person, actually a single person who was very, very helpful was the one person at the Uber Greenlight Hub. And I'm pretty sure you can only go to the Uber Greenlight Hub if you are an Uber driver. Or maybe you can go if you just take Ubers. Maybe, I, I honestly don't know. Maybe you could go and just say, hey, my account got hacked, I need help. But for a lot of people, for most people, like 99% of people who take Ubers, or maybe even 100%, they probably don't even know about the Uber Greenlight Hub. I didn't even know it was a thing until I was doing research being like, I need to talk to somebody at Uber. And they said, oh, just go to the Uber Greenlight Hub. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even know there was like an in-person support option for Uber drivers and everything. But 
yeah, uh, luckily everything's okay now. Happy Cinco de Mayo, but long story short, if your account gets hacked, be ready for a lot of Bed Bath & Beyond orders and fast food orders.